In this video, I'll answer the question, why do most people lose money on penny stocks? Before I dive in, if you like videos on investing in finance, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like it, please hit that subscribe button. Here at Ticker, we're all about clear, confident investing. So what is a penny stock? Any stock that is $5 or less US dollars is classified as a penny stock. Now, you're kind of flirting with penny stock territory if you fall between $5 and $10. So let's go a step further and kind of define what a penny stock is. Essentially, it's a business that has run out of ways to raise money. Bank lending has slowed down, venture capitalists no longer have interest, and private equity pretty much laughs them out the door. So what do they do? Well, they go public and try to raise money from investors like you and I. Unfortunately, most retail investors don't know the difference between a good stock any bad stock. When a stock goes public at a low share price, let's say $5 or less, or even $10 or less, there's a very low chance we'll ever break out past that dollar amount. For example, with a penny stock, anything that's $5 or less, there's a 99% chance we'll never break out past $5. And if a stock falls between $5 and $10, there's a 90% chance we'll never break out past $10. The reason is, large institutions lose confidence. Those are the entities, those are the businesses that really move share prices up and down. Yes, you and I, as retail investors, we can move share prices up and down a little, but it's typically the large institutions. And when they see a share price that's $5 or less, US dollars, they run the other direction. They have lost confidence and they will not invest. Now, if an institution sees a share price between $5 and $10, there's a very low chance it will ever invest. So here's what you should do if you are interested in a stock that is $10 or less. You want to wait. You want to wait for that share price to drive above $10 US dollars. Let other people risk their money first. And if that share price does happen to drive above $10, then you should consider investing in it. But I do recommend you check ticker to make sure it has an on sale summary and that 4M score is as close to 80 or higher. Then you know you have a strong company and you could potentially make a lot of money. Now, if you live in a different country and you see different share prices, I understand that dollar amount might look a little different, but try to run the currency conversion and also look at the historical returns of the stock. If you might say something like, yes, we have a lot of stocks that fall below $5, it's just the common thing in our country. Sure, that's fine, but take a look at the five-year returns. Are they actually keeping up with the market? For context, the S&P 500 over five years returns about 80%. If you see stocks in your country that are less than $5 that are not keeping up with the market, I won't touch them. Now to wrap things up, I unfortunately I see a lot of investors out there looking for the new hot stock that's you know $1.50 because they think they can make a fortune on it. But in most cases, they lose their money. Now you know why. If you're looking for clear, confident investing, I invite you to join Ticker for free. If you want free training, I have a webinar down below in the show notes titled The Three-Step Investing Plan to Buy Stocks with Confidence. Go ahead and click the link below. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.